Mike Pyle, almost 20 years in the game, back once again, fighting in Las Vegas on Fight Pass. And he joins us right now via the Magic of Skype with an announcement to make. There he is, the one and only Quicksand Pyle. Mike, how are you? What's up? Good, man. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for joining us from the uh, Dolce Diet headquarters. We see the logo in back of you. I appreciate it very much. Uh, so we are five days away from UFC 222. You return to action, but you do have an announcement to make. So the floor is yours. Uh, tell us what's on your mind, and uh, and then we'll react. But we want to hear from you first. What's up? Right on, right on. Well, I'm looking forward to my uh, my, uh, my fight this weekend, and uh, that will be my very last fight ever. I'm going to retire. Um, I don't, it's been it's been a long road, and uh, that's it. I'm gonna hang the gloves up and move on. And I'm excited to make that move and ready to retire. You know, I'm 43 this year. Um, it's time. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show and announcing that. And 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 as I said to you via text, I congratulate you on a phenomenal career that spans almost two decades. And you fought them all. You've you fought all over the world. How difficult is it to, I, I'm sure you've told this to family and friends, but to say it out loud to the world, how difficult is it to say the R word? Uh, it's not difficult at all, you know, to be honest with you. It's more of a relief. It's it's like, uh, you know, it's just time to move on. You know, there's always a, there's always pressure on you when you're, when you're, when you're a fighter, when you're, um, you know, going to compete. You're always in training. You're always getting banged around. It's, it's a rough sport. It's a rough, it's a rough way to live. I mean, uh, it's a rough uh, way to make a paycheck. Um, and for me, pretty much at this point, uh, the juice is not no longer worth the squeeze. You know, um, uh, the paychecks just aren't big enough for me to stay in harm's way at, at, at my age. So that's it. I'm easily going to walk away. It's really not hard at all, to be honest. You know, it, it is my identity. That's what I've been identified as, as a fighter for so many years. Um, it's it's going to be, you know, a different change, but uh, not. it's nothing that hits the heart too much. When did you come to this decision? How long ago? Uh, earlier, late, late last year, I thought, you know what, I sat with Shelby, talked with Shelby, I was like, I was like, let's do it one more time. Then I'm going to retire. And he's like, you sure you're going to retire? He's like, you know, even if you win, I was like, it, it, I'm going to retire. If I were to close my eyes, duck my head down, and within 10 seconds, you know, get lucky enough to put him to sleep like that, I, I, I really don't care. I'm, I'm retiring. You know, that's it. Did Again, you have it? The juice is not worth the squeeze anymore. Sorry. Did you have, did you have any say in which card, uh, which city, which opponent? Did you have any say in any of that? I asked for t uh, this card. I asked for a card actually in Vegas before April uh, of this year, and uh, my response was, "I'll do what I can." And Sean was able to make it happen, and I appreciate that. Okay. Um, when you found out it was Zach Otto, any any reservations, any any second thoughts, or were you cool with it? No, that 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 was fine. Um, wh whomever it'll be, I'm I'm going out to have some fun for my last fight, you know, and it's gonna it's gonna be with with Zach. It would be someone. So whatever the name was, whoever it was, whatever their style, um, there's no pressure on me. I don't have to worry about getting cut from UFC. I don't have to really worry about anything. I get to go and be me, let everything out, put it all on the table for one last time. One more time, we go and. That's that's just fine by me with with Zach. Um, and 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 considering those factors right there, where you don't have to worry about what's next or getting cut or whatever, what has this training camp been like? Knowing that you're kind of doing everything for the last time, right? Like this is the last weight cut, the last weigh in, etc. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself smelling the roses, getting a little nostalgic? How would you describe what the last few weeks have been like? Smelling the roses would be like that. That that would be it. You know, it's just. It's uh, been a, a fun ride uh, for this camp, you know, for my, for my whole career, actually. But um, it is, again, just a big relief to know that there's no pressure on me. There's, there's no pressure at all. Just, just go have fun. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just go have fun. The last few fights, did you stop having fun? Did, what was, was there too much pressure? Like, how would you, 
How would you describe the last few fights for yourself? The last few fights, uh, I just had a couple of bad days at the office, you know. Uh, I suffered some knockouts two in a row. Um, and that also was like, hey, that was kind of a wake-up call. Like, again, the juice just ain't worth the squeeze. You know, the yeah. bottom line is if I'm making, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars a fight, I might try to fight for a couple more years. But that's just not the that's not the case. I, um, I didn't build myself up through the ranks well enough throughout my career to, to make good money each fight. And again, not to beat a dead horse, but the, uh, the, the juice just is yeah. not worth the squeeze anymore. Uh, so you mentioned that a couple of times. Are you disappointed with like the state of MMA? Are you disappointed with how much fighters are getting paid? Um, I, I only ask this because you, you've said, you've said that line a couple of times now, like, is there some, do you, do you leave with some, some bad feelings towards the sport? No, not toward the sport. Uh, again, the way the criteria is, is, hey, if you make $5 to show up, you make $5 to win. Your next your next contract, now you make $10 and 10 to show, you know, so on and so forth. I did not meet the criteria. I, Mike Pyle, did not climb the ladder. I did not make those accomplishments. I did not build that contract higher and higher and higher. <clears throat> it was there. The money was there for me to take. Okay. I just is not. I did not do it. The platform was there. MMA is beautiful. It's awesome. I was fighting back in the day for free because I loved it. That's why I did it because I loved it. But you know, uh, I didn't build myself and I didn't make that money. So now it's time. You've had a phenomenal career. A lot of fighters can't fight. You know, into their forties like 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 you are, um, and and it's a career that began in November of nineteen ninety nine. Unbelievable. In the in the twentieth century and a lot of people may not know that your debut was against a guy named Quentin Rampage Jackson and you were giving up 30 pounds because your opponent fell out on short notice and of course Rampage was a Rampage but he was still Rampage to a certain degree and he was still a lot bigger than you and you still took the fight did you ever think right. after the and after that did you ever think that you would like did you envision a 20-year <laughs> career did you envision this or or have you exceeded your expectations I definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, no, I did not see myself uh, 20 years down the line because that didn't exist. When when Rampage and I fought, uh, to correct that, I was Rampage's first fight. I had about four or five fights before that, and they were some of Rampage training partners. Uh, uh, still to this day, I can barely remember their names and all that. So it wasn't honored uh, on, on uh on Sheer Dog, which is fine. I, I get it. But okay. I've, I've, I've been fighting since uh, late 97, to be exact. So oh. anyway, uh, no, I did not see myself that far because I got showed up that night. I got paid $100 to fight wow. my page. So wow. uh, I was doing it again for for the sport of it. I, I thought, uh, you know, me and another dude, you know, showing our skills and see who wins. And and that's what I'd practice in my shed for so many uh, hours for is to go and compete, not to go make money. And then it slowly turned into a job. Uh, what was your favorite? As the sport got bigger. Sure. Favorite. Is there a moment that sticks out as your favorite? It may not even be a fight, but it, but when, when, when you'll be talking about your career, you know, to your grandchildren, maybe in, in, in 40 years, what sticks out? You know what? The the entire career itself, the the all the friends along the way, all of the um, challenges that were put in front of me, the uh, the balls that I'd gotten throughout the my career, the courage, all of it, all of it made me who I am today, and all of it uh, plays a part. All of it. Do you have a favorite fight? Um. I, I did enjoy getting that good knockout over near. That was one of my first knockout cold face down to the mat knockouts that I'd ever delivered. Okay. That was a good one. And when I'd beaten John Hathaway, when I'd beat the brakes off John Hathaway at 14 and 0, uh, as a, uh, as a, um, um, featured bout in, in uh, the O2 arena in England, that, that was yep. a great moment for me as well. I, I was uh, lucky enough to be at that one. UFC 120 on Spike TV, and I remember how they were grooming him uh, to be the next big thing out of England, and that place was silent mm -hmm. after after you beat him up. Everyone mm -hmm. just viewed you as the opponent coming in, 
and you completely that to me is like the first one that comes to mind. What you did against John Hathaway, a very good opponent at the time. Um, do you leave with any regrets? No regrets at all, other than you know when you get knocked out, that just sucks. You know, there's you can't, you know, you make mistakes. There, there's there's no regrets. You know, I I I, I, I the longevity of of my career is through smart training, so I can't. I can't have any regrets toward that. I, I, I mean, what can you do? The, there's nothing you can do about a loss. There's really no regrets. I, I made no enemies through the sport. Only made friends. I have no regrets. How's your health after an almost, you know, a 20 plus year uh, career, as 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 you just noted? Mm -hmm. How's the health? And you know, of course, you, you're not doing the safest sport in the world. You are taking blows to the head. You're putting your body on the line every time. How do you feel 20 plus years later? Ariel, I feel great, man. I'm in. I'm. I'm literally in better shape than I was when I was in my 20s because I'm, I'm smarter about everything, and you know, and my Dolce's helped me over the years of working with him. You know, learn to have a lifestyle of good eating and, and just overall good health, and without breaking yourself in the gym, things like that is is uh, uh, is key. And some of the younger fighters, hopefully, are learning that through some of the the older veterans of the sport and 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 absorbing and, and learning through through those guys on, on how to approach training camps and to, to stay healthy and make it to the cage that night and have a career afterwards. What, what will you do now? What is, what is life after MMA look like for you? Uh, right now I've, 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 I am currently, um, on a show called the tick on Amazon. I am a stunt double for the lead actor, uh, Peter Sarah Finowich which is the tick a comedic actor and I double for him for the season and the new season just got picked up again. Uh, so I'll be doing that. I think it got picked up. I'm not sure. So I'll be on that. Hopefully, uh, uh, this next season, which I'm pretty sure I will be when it gets picked up. So, uh, on the film side of things. Okay. You're going to be doing some acting stunt work, things of that nature. Uh, more stunts. Okay. More stunt work, yeah, and sometimes acting comes along with it, but uh, stunt work is in the is in the is in the uh, foreground, and uh, yeah, maybe you never know, some some more acting could could pop up in my career as well. Do you enjoy that? I enjoy it thoroughly. I get to pretend to fight, yeah, and pretend to take punches to the face, and pretend to deliver them, and <laughs> you know, uh, make it look good on camera, and I don't get any stitches. Do you think that you will remain in MMA, like uh, as a coach or mentor, things of that nature, or do you or do you want to break from the sport? Oh, I won't break from the sport. I mean, it's a part of me. That, that, that's my. That's what I'm identified by. Uh, coaching, no. You know, it's that's a. That's probably not. I'm not that interested in that. You know. Uh, that's a big job. That's a that's a big job that that I'm not ready to take and i know as a fighter what i would expect out of a uh, kind of commitment on a daily um you know this the film the film side of, of things uh definitely overpowers that you know as far as the bank account uh considering this is your last fight and you're fighting you know in your adopted hometown of las vegas how many friends and family will you have in attendance on on saturday night at the at the t-mobile arena everybody in that arena that night is going to be my friends and family okay this is my last walk Everybody there, everybody there. I got, I, I, the whole damn Vegas is behind me, man. Do you think you'll That's get it. emotional come Saturday? Uh, yeah, you never know. I don't know until that moment actually happens, man. I don't know. And I, and I hope, I hope so. Cause I, I, I want, I want, I want to feel, I, I know it will. Yeah, no, without a doubt, I'm sure it will, man. There's, there's, you know, and everybody there, I've, you know, all what I mean by everyone is everyone in the back, all the, all the employees, you know, I've known them over years. Uh, I'll be, I'll be nine years, I'll be two months short of nine year career in UFC come this, this fight when I, when I retire, I'm two months short. May 2009, I wow. fought Brock Larson, I do believe. Yep, I remember it. Um, do you, do you uh, last thing? Do you, you you feel like you leave the sport? I mean, wow, you've you've seen almost the full evolution of MMA. You say you started in '97. That's just four yeah. years after the UFC was born. Yeah. Do you feel like you leave the sport in in a good place? Are, are you happy with the current state of MMA? 
current state, um, I definitely would like to see more money go to all the fighters across the board, of course. Uh, you know, we're, we're in a, um, a huge sport that's very, very recognized and understand that it doesn't have the kind of money that NBAs and NFLs and uh, Major League Baseballs and things. But I do believe it's heading in that direction. It's just not going to happen in my era. And I really do hope that that does happen for, for the fighters. You know, I really do not just, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm done with the sport. So I'm speaking for the other guys that are coming up on yeah. 20 year olds. And, and, uh, you know, I really, truly hope that they can sit, you know, and, 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 and not have to go and be a stunt man afterwards and they can sit back and, and reap the reap what they've sowed throughout their career. And even at the bottom tier guys, you know, should, should still be able to have some land and, and a house and, some money in the bank, man. I really hope that for everybody. Uh, is there anything you want to, I mean, now that we have the form and this is, you know, your, 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 your retirement announcement, so to speak. And again, I, I sincerely appreciate you coming on the show and sort of keeping this under wraps publicly. Thank so you. thank you very much for that. Uh, anything else you want to say in parting? We'll see you again uh, later on this week, but anything else you want to say to anyone watching any other, any of your fans, your supporters? No, just, just all you fans, thank you for over the years. I know some of you diehard MMA fans know who Quicksand is, and you guys follow me from the beginning, and I, and I truly appreciate that. All the fan mail, everything, I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for over the years. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it very much. Uh, congrats on a phenomenal career. Thank you for all the entertainment, for putting your body on the line, um, always going out there with the best hair in the business over the years. And, uh, and, and I appreciate you coming on the show once again to say this, and I'm looking forward to it on, on Saturday. I'm honored that I'll be able to be there and watch it in person. So all the best the next five days with the weight cut, and we'll see you out there in Las Vegas. Thank you.